how to solve an instantaneous velocity problem. As the change in time approaches zero, we arrive to a single or an instant value for velocity. For example, let's assume the displacement x is equal to 8 plus 2t plus 4t squared. If we take the derivative of this displacement, we obtain an equation for velocity. So in our case, velocity is equal to 2 plus 8t. If we assume that time equals 2 seconds, then if we substitute 2 seconds for t in our velocity equation, we obtain 18 meters per second. So when t is 2 seconds, velocity is equal to 18 meters per second or 18 feet per second, depending on what your displacement unit is.